السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ So let's begin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome back to the Thursday live sale uh, with the Islamic Kids Store. And uh, you're here with uh, again three of our best sellers with uh, some amazing discounts today, inshallah. So let's begin with the first one. Now, the first book that I have today is. Uh, very much requested one uh, we have been receiving many requests on the uh, complete you know the live uh, video of this uh, particular book the gifted memory the story of imam al-bukhari now this is a beautiful book and as you all must have guessed it by the name it is the story of uh, imam bukhari who has compiled the many hadiths which we read you know we usually read uh, imam al-bukhari's hadith and quote these hadiths as well teach our kids about it but uh, who was the author who was the one who wrote uh, who com- not wrote actually compiled the entire hadith and made it into a book now the story of that person definitely that wouldn't be an extraordinary one allah subhanahu taala chooses uh, you know for chooses for his work some uh, extraordinary people he was not an ordinary one sorry so he also has a very unique story and uh, Uh, many of us don't know that his actual name was muhammad his uh, birth name of uh, imam al bukhari was actually muhammad and he was born with a very weak eyesight and uh, you can imagine the plight of the mother and the father what it must be when the child was born with a weak eyesight but they never gave up and they never lost hope on it in fact the mother was strong so strong now such a person's mother definitely has to has also to be something extraordinary so she was a strong mother and she didn't lose hope she kept on praying for her son and uh, with the hope that one day his eyesight would get restored uh, although allah subhanahu wa taala didn't restore imam al bukhari's eyesight but he was given this extremely uh, rare quality of uh, very he had these amazing memory skills wherein he could memorize really quickly due to the due to this reason he was able to memorize the entire quran by the age of 6 and uh, more than 7000 hadith by the age of uh, almost 11 to 12 years so in this way he was not uh, like in spite of being uh, weak in the eyesight in spite he was not be he was he was not able to see but still with the efforts of his mother he was able to memorize these many hadiths and uh, there is also an interesting story of how he got named as uh, imam al bukhari that's all you know that's all mentioned in this book so this book has uh, very motivating stories and it is a good motivator as well as you know we usually search for good books for our kids uh, with some great moral stories and to make them more stronger individuals i would say this is one by this is a great book uh, you know sometimes i wonder that allah subhanahu wa taala also for his work he does not always choose people who are like uh, really strong or uh, physically or uh, financially but here is an example where imam al bukhari who was weak in eyesight and later on till date his uh, compiled hadith are referred to and we go back to it so it's a it's a very inspirational story and worth the buy also it is very colorful the quality of the page is very good the quality of the pages are very good it's very colorful for the kids to read the uh, language that is used is very simple the text content is not too lengthy so um, so that the child starts losing interest but enough to convey the entire story also there are some uh, beautiful activities after uh, after a few chapters so that the child uh, also recaps what he has learned from uh, the entire story it's a it's a wonderful one and it's a beautiful buy a great book to teach our kids about the hadith uh, about the actually the you know the compiler of the hadith 
about these hadith who have who they have been reading since childhood since they are kids we teach them about imam al bukhari hadith you know this is mentioned in sahih al bukhari we usually keep mentioning this to them so let them get acquainted with the person who actually compiled this and how he uh, you know in spite of uh, some uh, in spite of having a weak eyesight in spite of all these drawbacks how he he emerged as a stronger personality and also about his mother the entire story is also you know many men- mentions are there about the mother how what a stronger role she played in uh, in you know in these efforts of his and finally he went on to became imam bukhari so this book is uh, originally priced at rupees 699 but just for today you will have it only for rupees 625 so go ahead and uh, grab it the stock is limited we have it just for rupees 625 today okay now the next book that i have is um, another beautiful motivational one and this is the book that's umar 2 now uh, many people when they will read the title many may wonder that it's actually about umar bin al khattab but it's not actually about the caliph umar bin al khattab but about his great grandson that was umar bin abdul aziz and many of us are not uh, very well acquainted with this uh, personality of islam he was a very very strong personality of islam who brought about many changes which i myself came to know when i went through this book Uh, many of us not not aware about he was a governor only for two and a half years but and he died also quite early at the age of 37 but the amount of changes that he brought during that time was phenomenal and uh, this book is about the principles that we derive from his lesson what are the uh, things that we learn from his life what are the things that we learn from his life so initially it begins with uh, this book begins with a brief Um, you know a recap about islamic history and uh, about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and about the caliphs and then goes on to starting uh, umar bin abdul aziz story and who was he and how his life and how what kind of changes he brought when he became the governor so he was mainly from a very uh, monarchical family and uh, a very influential family but when he became the governor he opted for a very simple life he didn't want uh, a very you know he didn't want all those luxuries that are that come along with this kind of uh, leadership but he was the one who chose to have a very very simple life also when he came he brought about many uh, changes like many taxes which were there he found that they were unnecessarily you know placed on the people and uh, he removed those taxes and uh, he brought about he tried to bring about more kind of a, you know more kind of a uniformity also the principles when they start like initially the story about uh, umar to a brief story is mentioned and then it begins with the uh, the principles that are derived from his life and the first chapter you won't believe it it starts with his parenting it starts with uh, what kind of parents did he have and the first chapter is on the mother like what kind of a role the mother played in uh, umar uh, bin abdul aziz life and what kind of a strong woman was she now today i think both the books are mainly related to that even uh, in imam al bukhari we saw that and even in this one so what kind of a powerful woman she was because the father was a governor so he was usually busy with uh, his governing and uh, so the main focus and the main uh, person from whom he initially learned umar bin abdul aziz was his strong mother and uh, then we in to go on in this chapter the lessons are derived from his story what kind of parenting approach we can adopt to raise more confident and more better kids now usually we put our kids into international schools and we feel or you know into great classes and we feel our jobs are done but what kind the first teacher is definitely the mother i would say so what values the child learns from his own home actually goes a long way in shaping his personality and uh, that is very beautifully parenting skills are very beautifully then described what kind of productivity the first productivity principle 
example is about parenting so what do we learn from that then the next one is on the spouse like he had an amazing spouse now uh, that's also an interesting story that his wife was the sister of four kings she was the daughter of a king and uh, you know she was uh, she herself was from a great family but when she became his wife she also chose to have a very simple life uh, in spite of being a princess since birth she chose to have a simple life uh, along with umar bin abdul aziz and uh, completely agreed to his principles so the importance of marriage and how one can you know make it more successful and better so the entire that entire thing those productivity principles are mentioned in the next chapter so on and so forth every chapter there are many other productivity pr principles that are derived and uh, it's definitely worth a read we usually search for some motivational and uh, you know motivational books for ourselves or for our kids i would say this is this is the one that you should be buying wherein uh, almost all the principles that we want ourselves to get motivated for are covered so it's worth a buy and uh, it's a beautiful book and uh, the most amazing part is it's originally priced at rupees 1800 but just for today it's only available at rupees 1100 so please go ahead and buy it because it's an um, it's it's a you know it's a book wherein you can always for a lifetime just keep on going back to like whenever even i need uh, you know some kind of a motivation or i want to go back uh, you know stay motivated go back so have some answers i definitely uh, refer to this book it's a beautiful one and a worth buy so go ahead it's just available for rupees 1100 and the last one that i have for today is something for kids and this is the arabic writing board book now this is not an alphabet one but this is a words one wherein we have different different words written in arabic there is a marker pen available it's a wipe clean one the child can write and then again wipe it clean so there are some words given here along with the english translations and uh, you know they are traceable the child can trace on it and some basic words like cover your like plane bird and all that the quality of this board book is amazingly good it's completely hard bound as you can see it is this sturdy and uh, it can be carried in this way it's a sturdy one it it also comes with a self marker and there are some basic words that are covered in this a great buy for kids who want to practice arabic writing by themselves and it keeps the kids busy for a very longer time there are also some activities like this maze and this number 1 wherein the child can do, join these dots and uh, make out some figure and towards the end there are these words given in arabic so all in all a great buy and uh, this is originally priced at rupees 799 but just for today it would be available only for rupees 725 so that's all for today's live sale uh, once again just Uh, a recap this book arabic words book is available for rupees 725 only originally priced at rupees 799 the next one is a, a beautiful uh, book motivational book umar 2 this is originally priced at 1800 but just for today only for rupees 1100 only for rupees 1100 and the last one is this the gifted memory story of imam al bukhari great uh, book to tell our kids more about uh, these personalities of islam and this is originally priced at rupees 699 but just for today available only for rupees 625 so go ahead uh, and uh, avail of these offers visit our website inshallah uh, with this i would end this session uh, may allah subhanahu wa taala help us in being strong mothers and raise a generation that's strong in iman inshallah amin Jazakallah everyone for joining in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.